My name's Joe Biden. I'm a Democrat, and I love John McCain. John's story is the American story. That's not hyperbole. It sounds like it's the American story, grounded in respect and decency, basic fairness. There are times when life can be so cruel, pain so blinding, it's hard to see anything else. The, the disease that took John's life took our mutual friends, Teddy's life, the exact same disease nine years ago, a couple days ago. And three years ago, it took my beautiful son Bo's life. It's brutal. It's relentless. It's unforgiving. And it takes so much from those we love and from the families who love them that in order to survive, we have to remember how they lived not how they died. I have people ask me all the time, did you ever know in those early years, did you have a feeling you had someone so special there? And uh, my answer is yes, absolutely. No question about it. Because they saw in John McCain a little bit of what they hoped to see in themselves. They saw in John McCain the embodiment of values that they hoped to see for their country. It's a long and winding road that took him from that dirt yard in Hanoi to the dirt back roads of Hidden Valley. But through it all, he was resolute. Now John's going to take his rightful place in a long line of extraordinary leaders in this nation's history, who in their time and in their way stood for freedom and stood for liberty and have made the American story the most improbable and the most hopeful and the most enduring story on earth. I know John said he hoped he played a small part in that story. John, you did much more than that, my friend. To paraphrase Shakespeare, we shall not see his like again. He served his country with honor. He fought the good fight. He finished the race. He kept the faith. Now, my friend, we can finish the song. Sleep in heavenly peace. Sleep in heavenly peace. <laughs>